Look guys, my chocolate remote is done. The chocolate piece physically changed from this to this. Can I actually use it? Yeah. For my gaming? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you yeah, sure? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think the buttons are working. Wait, what? Ah, ha! Yeah, it's melting. Welcome to Ryan's world. Hey guys, I'm ripping paper. Did you know that ripping paper is a physical change? A physical change is when nothing new is formed or created. You can change the shape, size, or even how it looks, but it's still the same. It just looks different. Physical change! Uh. Ripping paper is a physical change because this and this are both paper. I didn't create anything new because this is still paper, but it looks different. I teared up a bunch of paper to make a rainbow. So let's finish it. Here, here. Look, my rainbow is done. Well, other examples of physical change is crumbled paper. It's crumbled, but it's still paper. Hey, whoa! Oh no, my crayon broke! Well, that's okay. This is another good example of physical changes. It is broken, but it is still a crayon. I didn't create anything new. Good thing I have more crayons and a lot more crayons. Okay, I'm gonna finish it up. Hey. D! But, oh no, not again. Physical change. Now I'm gonna make my daddy some lemonade. I'm gonna add one spoon of sugar into the water. It's a lot. This is an example of physical change. Because I didn't create anything new, it's just sugar dissolved in water. Now let's add some lemon. Ooh, lemon. Now let's stir. This is also a physical change because it's lemon juice mixing with the water. Now let's add in some ice. Wait, look, the ice melted. But this is also another good example of physical change. The ice did melt, but it's still water. So no chemical reaction takes place. Now let's add in some melted ice. Hopefully, Daddy will enjoy this. Some nice lemonade. Physical change. Now, I'm gonna make a chocolate controller for my dad. And I'm gonna melt the chocolate. Let's do it, wait. But before you do it, you have to ask the parent for help. And I have mommy. Hi. Hi. Go ahead. It's a lot of chocolate. This is also another good example for a physical change. It is still chocolate, but it's melted chocolate. Look guys, my chocolate remote is done. The chocolate piece physically changed from this to this. I didn't create anything new. It's still chocolate, but looks different. Well, I'm going to call Daddy for his first surprise. Daddy! What's up, Ryan? Oh, hey, Mommy. What Hi. is this? Well, I got some lemonade, a chocolate controller, and chocolate, and also a rainbow that says Dad. Whoa, is that for me? Yeah, what's the location? Happy birthday! Oh, thank you. Yeah, it was my birthday. Thank you, Ryan. Love this rainbow. Look at that. I like how you tear the like, paper pieces and then put it together like a rainbow. That's right, Daddy. Physical change. I teared the piece of paper up, but it's still paper. Physical what? Physical change. Well, hey, Daddy, want to try this lemonade? Oh, lemonade? Yeah. It's a homemade lemonade? You made yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. It's 
super sour, Ryan. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> what about my physical change to remote controller? That's definitely not chocolate. Whoa, yeah, it does look like a controller, right? Can I actually use it? Yeah. Am I gaming? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you yeah, sure? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think the buttons are working. Wait, what? Ah, yeah, it's melting. It's chocolate, Ryan. <laughs> ah, look at my hand. But let me taste it first. I don't know until I taste it. Could be something else, right? It might not be chocolate. Let's see. It is chocolate! Yeah! That is tasty. Mm. I have more surprises for you later, Daddy. But first, more physical changes! Is this physical change too? Mm. <laughs> Remember, a physical change is when no new substance is formed. It just looks different. Whenever you're cutting one, it may look different because it's cut into pieces, but it's still good. Physical change. On a hot sunny day, your ice cream might melt. But it's still ice cream, it's just melted ice cream. Physical change. Whenever water is boiling on a stove, ah, it's hot. The liquid changes into a gas, but it's still H2O. Physical change. Whenever you crush a water bottle, it's still a water bottle. It's just crushed. Physical change. Now that we learned all about physical change, let's learn about chemical change. A chemical change is when something is formed. Whoa! For example, the class of baking soda and vinegar science experiments. This experiment creates bubbles, which is the carbon dioxide gas being released. Now I'm baking my daddy a cake. First, I need flour. Next, water, and then vegetable oil. Crack the egg. Next, add the cake. This is a physical change, because we haven't created it. Yet, put it into the pan. Okay, let's bake the cake for Daddy. Don't forget to ask the grown-up for help to put the cake into the oven. As you bake the cake, it creates a chemical reaction. The ooey gooey batter changes into a fluffy yummy cake. The heat from the oven causes protein from the egg to change and make the cake firm. Guys, look, the cake is done. And this is a good example of a chemical change because I created something new, a yummy, delicious cake. Now for the frosting. I'm gonna color in blue. Guys, quick question. Do you think this is a chemical change or a physical change? Look guys, it's turning blue. Did you guys guess it? It's a physical change because it's still frosting, but it's blue frosting. The cake is ready. Let's call Daddy. Daddy! What is it, Ryan? Happy birthday, Daddy. I made you a cake. Whoa, that looks so delicious. Thank you, Ryan. And candles. One, two, three, four. And five. Five candles. Yeah, I'm five years old. <laughs> yeah. Guys, remember always ask parents for help when you light up the fire on the candle. Let's sing my dad happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear daddy. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Whoa, whoa, Ryan, it's melting. You better hurry up and blow it away. Look. Daddy, I have a question for you. Is a candle that's melting a physical change or a chemical change? Hmm, I think it's physical change. It's still a candle, right? It's melting, but it's still a candle. Yeah, it is a physical change because the wax is melting, but it's still wax. That's melting. But it's also a chemical change because when you're burning the candle, it creates carbon dioxide and releases water vapor. What? I didn't know that. But hey, just hurry up. Can I blow it now? It's yeah. melting. Yeah, blow it up. Ready? 
gonna get a big slice for myself. Uh -huh, a big slice. Ooh. And Dad, whenever you cut the cake, mm -hmm. is that a physical change or a chemical change? Uh, physical change? Yeah, it's a physical change because it's still cake. And it's physically looking perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Mmm, this is tastes good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Ah, but you know what? I need some milk. Let me go get some milk. Okay. Yeah, I can't have a cake without milk. Yeah. All right. Wait, I smell something funny. Oh yeah. Ah! I think this milk is expired. It smells sour. Well, Ugh. Daddy is. Expired sour milk, a physical change or a chemical change? Uh, chemical change? Yeah, that's right, because the bacteria in the milk creates lactic acid, which causes the milk to be sour. Oh, something new was created. That's why it's a chemical change. But hey, can I just get the milk without chemical change? Okay, guys, here's some more fun examples of chemical changes. Remember, chemical change is something new formed or created. Iron rusting is an example of a chemical change. Whenever iron is combined with oxygen, it makes iron oxide, which is the rust that you see here. Look. When you burn wood, that's a chemical change. Whenever wood is combined with heat and oxygen, it creates carbon dioxide water vapor, and ashes. Whoa, did you guys hear that? Fireworks! Now that's a chemical change. Fireworks produce light and sound. Whoa, that means something new is created. Chemical change. Ah, good thing I have another milk and this is not expired. Wait, Daddy. What? So do you think that is a physical change or a chemical change? Wait, what do you mean? Uh, I don't know. Well, thank you guys for watching. Remember, we stay happy and rise up. <laughs> Bye. It's not so cool.